China, with an area of almost 3.7 million square miles, is the third largest country by total land area. Yes, China is slightly, but still, larger than the United States. The current population density of China in 2024 is about 149.34 people per square mile, which is 0.3% lower than in 2023. Cities and towns are growing fast, but there's not enough land for development. And it's not just a shortage, it's a critical shortage, and the available land is highly valued. The dunes are popular with tourists who come to ride camels, go sledding, or see another unique natural phenomenon. How many mega projects does China have? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? Yeah, this country loves to amaze the world with the results of its work, all wrapped up in concrete, steel, aluminum, or any other shell. But what really stands out is how China works with deserts. This can definitely be called one huge mega project. Millions of tons of sand are dug up to turn a lifeless area into something green, and China doesn't care which desert it's transforming. Whether it's the dangerous Gobi or the shifting Taklamakan, China knows how to handle any land full of sand. Any method is on the table. Sometimes it's hands-on work. Sometimes more advanced solutions come into play. Overall, China knows how to turn even the most barren land into something else. We're going to tell you exactly how they do it. The Great Green Wall. Let's start by heading to the Gobi Desert, the sixth largest in the world after the cold wastelands of Antarctica and the Arctic, the Sahara, the deserts of Australia, and the barren lands of the Arabian Peninsula. The Gobi is located in northern China, which shares it with Mongolia, but it was the Chinese government that decided to implement a large-scale land reclamation project here to create what's called the Great Green Wall. From the name, you can tell the ambitions of this program are just as big as those of the other famous Great Wall. And you know what? It's exactly like that. Unlike the warm and green southern part of China, the desert-like north is covered by forests in only 5% of its area, and this project was meant to increase that depressing figure by three times. The thing is, the Gobi Desert is gradually expanding, and the intensity of sandstorms is also growing to the point where they even reach neighboring Japan, North Korea, and South Korea. To prevent people from being buried by sand, the government started a forest planting program called the Three North Shelter Forest Program. Yep. The Great Green Wall is also called that because it stretches across the north, northeast, and northwest of the country. Try to imagine the scale of this project for a second. The country's authorities came up with the project several decades ago, back in 1978, and they plan to finish it in 2050. The project has been advancing very successfully, with the country's residents putting all their efforts into it. By 2009, the trees covered more than 193,000 square miles creating the world's largest artificial forest. According to a 2020 report, the tree planting programs led to significant carbon dioxide absorption and even helped mitigate climate change. As a result, the Gobi, which was expanding by 3,800 square miles each year in the 1980s, started shrinking in 2022 by more than 770 square miles each year. Can you imagine how successful China's been in this project? They literally made the desert move in the opposite direction. By the way, this major change wasn't achieved only thanks to the specialists working on China's program. Regular Chinese people were also busy planting trees in the desert. This woman, In Yuzhen, made the Gobi green for 40 years, planting nearly 74,000 acres of land with her husband. With people like that, it feels like China is unstoppable. So, in 2020, they figured out the project works. What will they do next all the way until 2050? Development, development, and more development. China is planning to plant about 137,000 square miles of forest, which will form a wall around 3,000 miles long and about 900 miles wide. We'll see how all this turns out in the future, but even now, China has something to be proud of. The desert has started shrinking, and the number of sandstorms has gone down too. Taklamakan Greenbelt but the Gobi is far from being the only desert in China. This is the Taklamakan, which people call the Sea of Death. Although it's smaller than the Gobi, just 130,000 square miles compared to 522,000 square miles, the Taklamakan is considered the second largest desert, with shifting sand, dunes covering 85% of its area. The natural conditions in this place are extremely harsh. 
The sand dunes are constantly shifting due to powerful winds, and they're always destroying meadows and residential areas. The worst part is that the Taklamakan, like the Gobi, is also gradually expanding. So, the situation looks pretty bleak. The desert will keep swallowing up more and more land. However, you didn't think that China, the fan of mega projects and greenery, would just ignore the Taklamakan, did you? Once again, the Great Green Wall comes to the rescue. The project's name is actually different now. It's called the Green Belt, but the idea is still the same to limit the desert and stop it from spreading. The Taklamakan has basically been locked in. The desert has been completely surrounded by a 1,890-mile green belt. This massive initiative took 40 years, during which the first 1,715 miles of the green belt were completed. The last 177 miles, which started in 2022, required an army of 600,000 people to plant desert-resistant species, desert poplar, red willow, and saxol trees. The green belt not only prevents the desert from spreading, but it also boosts the region's economic growth. Some planted species, like medicinal desert herbs, can even bring financial benefits. Devouring the lake. But let's not rush to praise China. Everyone has their flaws, and China has a really big one. We'll talk about that, of course, but a bit later. For now, let's talk about one of the most telling examples of how a country literally destroys itself for the sake of industrial development. Decades of mass urbanization in China have led to a huge demand for sand to make glass, concrete, and other materials used in construction. So the question came up, why not just take sand from the deserts to meet these needs? Sounds like a great idea, right? But the most sought-after material actually comes from rivers and lakes, not barren deserts. Look at this. This is China's largest freshwater lake, Poyang Lake. Despite its proud title, they've started digging sand right out of it. These are the ships that made it happen. They just sailed to the right spot and then sucked the sand right off the bottom. As a result, ongoing sand extraction caused the lake's water level to drop, making things worse for local farming. The local flora probably didn't thank anyone for the reduced water level. Fish and birds lost a big part of their habitat. The lake is also a key flood runoff area for the Yangtze River, which overflows its banks in the summer and can cause huge damage to crops and property. Even though the government took steps to limit sand extraction, these efforts didn't amount to much. In the end, the resources of this once vibrant and lively lake were simply drained. Still, desert projects are great for saving animals, agriculture, and all the other things that suffer from encroaching sand. 